Baked Dutch Baby. Otherwise known as a German pancake, this simple breakfast pastry is as easy as blending a few ingredients together and then pouring it into a hot skillet. In no time, you'll have a silky, eggy treat that begs to be topped with your favorite sweet or savory additions. Hey friends, today I'm going to show you a recipe called a Dutch baby. It's basically halfway in between a pancake and a crepe. It's light and delicate, but it's just got an amazing texture and flavor and it comes together very quickly. Now let's check it out. To make a Dutch baby, you're going to need a Dutch baby pan. But if you don't have one of those, you can use a cast iron skillet. And if you don't have one of those, you can use just about any skillet you have on hand. Begin by preheating the oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit and place your skillet inside to begin heating. Then we will gather our ingredients. You'll need half of a cup of milk, half a cup of all-purpose flour, three large eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just a pinch of salt. Then to serve, we will also need some powdered sugar and a fresh lemon. Now it's time to get cracking. Add the eggs to your blender followed by the milk, vanilla extract, salt, and then carefully add the flour. Put the blender together and then blend for 30 to 60 seconds in order to produce a smooth batter. Take the hot skillet out of the oven and drop two tablespoons of butter into it. Swirl the pan around to allow the butter to melt and evenly coat the inside of the pan. Pour the batter into the pan and then carefully transfer it to the oven. At this point, reduce the heat to 425 degrees and allow it to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. The pancake will puff up and expand into its classic bowl shape. Once it has achieved a golden color with toasty brown edges, remove your Dutch baby from the oven. Right away, it will begin to collapse from all the puffiness it received while baking, but this is normal. Don't be discouraged if the shape goes a bit off while baking. Sometimes these things just happen. It will taste great all the same. Once it's cooled to touch, you can turn it out onto a cutting board. Give it a squeeze with the lemon and then a good dusting of powdered sugar. And there you have a classic Dutch baby. I actually prefer to eat it just like this, sliced into serving pieces, but you can certainly go to town with the toppings. It goes wonderful with fresh fruits, or you could skip the sugar and make a savory garnish with herbs, cheese, cured ham, or even fish. Any way that you like will be just fine. So now you know how to make a Dutch baby at home. Whether you like to serve it for breakfast or dessert, you can put together something quickly that'll easily impress your guests. It's good hot, it's good cold, it's good plain, it's good with toppings. Whatever you want to do with it, I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching.